just have another huge round of applause, please, for the icon that is Lou here. And all of the incredible seen and unseen organizers of Trans Pride here today. I remember coming to the first ever Trans Pride. It was an incredible showing then. But to keep it going at this momentum with all the challenges that happen when you grow as a space and a protest and a pride and keeping it radical is not an easy job and you all are continuing to do it. So another round of applause please for them. Thank you. Alabanza. I'm wearing like a white 90s style skirt with a clear bow, a little cute white tank top, mixed race, trans fam, and giving like high PVC boots, ready for the night and the day. That's the little audio description. Uh, thank you Trans Pride for giving me such an honor in speaking here. I remain indebted and thankful for the organizers, not just of this place, but also for the community organizers that continue to show up and show out all year round for our community. It's so important on days like this to remind ourselves and each other that we are and have always been right fucking here. That we continue to be stronger together, that we aren't going anywhere. You know, I was nervous about what to talk about. A lot of us know the context that we're in, and I imagine a lot of the other speakers will highlight this moment and what's happening towards us, the way that we are many years into targeted government attacks, legislation, public scrutiny, debates, aiming to make our lives harder. We, we know this. So much of this has been done without our choice in aims to strip us away from our agency. But I wanted to talk about what we do have the choice to do, about what choices we can decide to make. Trans and other queer people right now are under pressure. And when we're under pressure, there's every reason to internalize their words, their actions, their shame to become quieter to become straighter, to become less proud. And I want this trans pride to be a reminder for not only myself, but for you, that when we choose trans pride, it means, baby, we get even more dirty. We get even more trans. We get even less respectable. We do not go back into hiding. We do not try and convince them that we are good enough to be respected. Instead, we lean into the very things that they are afraid of us as, because we know that that is the thing that makes us stronger, that that is our freedom. <laughs> to choose to be more deviant. And when I say deviant, I mean interconnected, where our transness is a deviance to their power structures. Where our transness is also anti-racist. Where our transness is also anti-borders. Where our transness says free Palestine. Where our transness refuses to be co-opted, silenced or made small. Instead, I want to close this out. This is such an honor. Oh, I dropped my speech voice there. Did you hear that? <laughs> Instead, I want to end and say we remember that there is pride in the harder path taken. There is a pride in something that feels like a struggle because laced within it is so much freedom. Thank you so much, Shantai. Oh,